Okay, chapter 15. We have one hour and 22 minutes to finish this chapter and chapter 16. And like I said, chapter 10, I'm sorry, uh, chapter uh, uh, 16 is free. So basically an hour 22 to finish um, this chapter, which is more than enough, even if you take it slow. Like if we take 40 minutes here, which we won't, that is a good, a good amount of time to finish this level. Now, the optimal strategy for this level is don't die. And, and I don't mean that in a sarcastic or in a funny way. I literally mean like that's that should be your goal for this level. So don't take unnecessary risks. Take it slow. Don't try to really rush it. Unless you're on assisted or standard and you're really low on time. I, those are the only two difficulties that can even consider rushing this part of the game. Hardcore and professional, you're, we're walking this if we have to. So obviously break out those two first cases. Run up here. Get this case. And this is going to be our last merchant in the game. Sell anything you don't need. Repair your knife. I'm sorry, your, your armor. Krauser's knife. Sell it. Keep it. Up to you, really. I, I'm going to keep it just because I'm going to use the other bolts. Buy the first aid spray. Small resources and large resources. Okay. So I'm going to equip Krauser's knife. And I'm going to turn those bolts into... I'm sorry, those knives into, into bolts. Now, the biggest thing in this chapter is going to be after Mike opens up the last door and he says, I'm out of ammo. That's going to be the biggest, hardest section of this game. So run up here. Trigger the rocket launcher guy like that. And then just run away. Let Mike go in there, do his thing, and that's it. Okay. Once he takes everybody out, I'm just going to wait here. Once he takes everybody out, you'll get the little cutscene where he's, you know, inter introducing himself and whatnot. This door here is on a kill counter. You have to defeat a certain amount of enemies before it opens. Well, before Mike does the cutscene to open it. You can help him by taking him out yourself, or you can just let him do it entirely. Really up to you how you want to handle it, based on your resources and your health. I tend to run back here, though, shoot this treasure, pick it up, and then climb this ladder just to get more, more resources. So like I mentioned, it's completely up to you how you want to handle this. If you're unprofessional, the less risk you have, especially when you have this amount of time, the better. So I'm just going to run in circles. If you saw a pistol, you could use it, take some shots here and there, but don't overuse it because what happens is the game is going to start dropping uh, pistol ammo instead of... Uh, the, the bigger ammo. Oh, great. Okay. There is a speedrunner strategy where at the very start of the waves, you um, use the turret to take down everybody from the top right, and then you use a grenade to take down everybody else. That reminds me. Um, have one frag grenade and one heavy grenade for this segment. This is why we were saving the heavy grenades. I have two heavy grenades, but at the very least you need one hand grenade and one um, heavy grenade for the turret. So we can get past that part ASAP. There we go. You no longer need to fight. You can just finish this... without any real worry anymore. Now for this section here, what you're going to want to do is trigger them to shoot and then just run back. 
So there, there, there. Now just run back. Get completely away from there because that RPG, it will hit you. Just give it a second. Once he takes it out, shoot this barrel. Wait for the other guys in the back to jump down and then shoot their barrel. This guy tends to transform. So try to leave it to Mike to take him out. There we go. Okay, so now this is going to be the most difficult part of the game. So we are going to take it slow. Don't worry about taking it slow. Just take it slow. Uh, again, unless you're on assisted or standard and you have the time. So shoot this treasure. And then break these barrels and just loot this stuff here. Okay, so switch to your heavy grenade, run up here, and trigger the cutscene. Aim one heavy grenade, and then one frag grenade. You can do two heavy, doesn't matter, but just do that. Now run down here, break these two barrels. Don't go all the way down though, just break those two barrels. Bait out that rocket launcher shot, don't stick next to the wall, just enough to bait that out. Run over here, and bait out the turret. Once the, the turret stops shooting, run. Run back across the bridge. And you're going to stay here until Mike takes everything out. And I mean literally everything. Use your pistol here. Don't, don't use any strong ammo. The way this segment works is after a certain amount of enemies are taken out, Mike will open the door. And whatever's left over, okay, use a strong weapon on that one. Okay, not good. Okay, I'm gonna use a grenade. Hopefully Mike actually hits him. Okay. Whatever you do, I'm just gonna say this now, just so I don't forget. Once the gates open, don't run up there. It's gonna spawn new enemies. They're scripted to spawn once Leon runs in that dire general direction. So definitely don't run up there once Mike opens that door. Yeah, but for now just keep just keep chilling. If this lasts too long, I'm just gonna make a cut so you know you're not just watching me standing around while Mike does everything. Okay, so it looks like it's almost over. There's only like a handful left. Yeah, I think it's over. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Once that's over, you have to fight your way through here alone. So, hopefully you have resources. At this stage, use whatever you got left to take everything out. Come on. Uh oh. All right. Okay. Your your main um, ammo to craft here should be the. Um, uh, sniper ammo. Because you want to take them out at a distance. So get your sniper, aim up here. Take this guy out. Sometimes those turret guys transform. That happens, don't worry. He might transform. No, he won't. Okay. 
So once you take the first set out, run in here a little bit, and this will force more enemies to spawn. Oh, don't want that. That thing dead? No, it's not. That's literally a sniper round and a pistol shot. Don't lose track of where you are, because if they start blasting you, they can stun lock you and then you just die. Oh. If you need to come back and replenish, that's fine. Just make sure you do not go up those stairs. If you go up those stairs, like I mentioned earlier, it'll spawn enemies. That usually means death on harder difficulties. And you can grab this yellow herb back here if you want. Not essential. I usually skip it at this stage. Okay, so I'm down to two rounds. I'm going to make some more. Shoot him in the leg if, if you can't get a headshot. This is why the sniper is what you want to use here. Like, it's just so good. Okay. So once you clear out that wave... Let me go to photo mode in a second. They, they won't spawn back once you clear that wave that appears here. Let me just loot this first floor and then and then I'll uh, talk about what what's about to go down. Okay. So, obviously, you have to hit those two levers. The There is RNG in terms of what happens after you pull one of them. Generally, what I've noticed is that the one on the left, so that one there, is the one you want to hit last. Because the enemies that spawn here aren't that bad. If you hit this one last, you're going to go through hell. Because it's, it's just a nightmare. Um, but but I, like I said, it's a degree of RNG involved based on what appears when you pull the lever. So it could be a little bit different for you. So I recommend hit that one first. And then we go from there. Try to have at least three explosive bolts, but the more the merrier. Like right now, I'm really low on explosive bolts. So I'm going to rely more on my sniper once I pull it. And look around the area too. Get some items for, first without fully committing. Because there are uh, treasure chests around. They're not essential, of course, but every little bit helps at this stage. Let me see if I can make some more uh, mines. Yes, I can. Perfect. Okay, this will be much easier now. Okay. So before you pull that lever... Hold on, let me just check and make sure there's nothing back here. No. So before you pull that lever... And I really do mean before you pull it. Place one explosive bolt right next to that red light. One right under it, one by that fence, right next to it, and then one right by the uh, the uh, switch. And then once the first enemy appears and explodes on that red light, place another one on that red light. That one's tricky. You can you can miss that one. I missed that one. Great. Okay. Pull the lever. First one down. Stick another one. Next. Enemies spawn behind you too. That's why you don't want to. You don't want to stick around. You do have to jump down. Oh my god. Okay, 
So I do have the healing for this, but it's dangerous. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. Even though I have a lot of healing, it's very dangerous. I, I would stick one bolt there. Another bolt there. Get those shotgun shells. One more bolt. Remember, your goal is to survive. It's not to make it look pretty. It's not to make it look cool. We are almost done with this room. Don't worry about treasures at this point either. Just your goal is to get out. Get these treasures for sure. Sometimes they get good good drops. Okay, so once you pull the second lever, just run. Don't worry about anything. Just run. Okay. So now this is basically the last bit of the game. Once you beat this, you win the game. Go to photo mode. If for some reason you're on professional and you still have a save, I, I don't know how you did it, but good job. But if you do have one, save here. This will give you the opportunity to do the last skip of the game, which will save you eh, 10 minutes, maybe, give or take. Maybe, not a guarantee. Um, but if you don't have a save, then you just keep going. There is a skip for this section, very inconsistent, very dangerous. I don't recommend it if you've never done it. Let me, let me skip this. If you have a flash, you can skip this part pretty fast. I don't have the resources for a flash, so I'm, I'm gonna run it. Try to shoot those cases before you go too far and trigger the cutscene, if possible. So that when you're running, you don't, you know, stop the melee them because of these guys. I really do hate these things. Like, they're really annoying. Actually, forget what I said about um, saving earlier. This segment here, there's three very specific Iron Maidens. And they are Iron Maidens. They're not um, other enemies. They're always going to be in the same three bags. So that... I mean, let me get this treasure here. Let me go back to that last room. Okay. So, the Iron Maiden is in that middle bag. As long as you don't touch the bags, they don't come out. So... Just walk by on the side, hug the wall, and that's it. You're safe. Open this up. And if you don't remember where they are, pull out your thermoscope and aim. You'll see them. There's one there. No other ones right there. The thing about this room, and I learned this the hard way, is that if you trigger them, you have to kill them. You cannot outrun them. So make sure to not trigger them. There's always going to be a snake in there, so I use it to heal. I used to think this one here was a joke. Like, you'd have to purposely try to make it appear to have it appear. And no, I learned the hard way. You can accidentally make it appear without really trying. So just go. Actually, I messed up. Don't get greedy and try to go... Um, directly through the bag between those boxes because the second that enemy spawns you get a speed debuff and you will never make it so you you can screw yourself over so make sure not to trigger those at all costs okay repair armor repair knife durability no just repair the knife okay so this this is the end of the game essentially this is the very end of the game and if you beat this you're, you're done you're golden you've finished the game essentially now i have a lot of healing items this may be enough if i play carefully and slowly if i don't i will die like for sure i will die i'm gonna sell the uh submachine gun and magnum ammo aside from surviving the end try to save up for the rocket launcher as well because we'll need that for the last boss that's why chapter 16 is a joke 
Okay, let me let me quit here. Not quit. Go to photo mode. Okay, so it's going to be different for everybody because there's less enemies on standard and, and assisted. But generally, um, you want to fight your way through here, unless you want to do the skip. But the skip is high risk, high reward. I do not recommend it on professional unless you have a safety save with that merchant if you somehow made that save there. So I, I made a mistake and I said save earlier after the uh, the switch section. No, the, your last save should be here just in case because this has a very high failure rate. And I tried it once um, on my very first attempt on S, S Plus Pro. I failed it and I had to restart from Krauser Fight. So yeah, you don't want that. Okay, so I loaded a save and I just turned on infinite ammo just so I can show you how to do the skip. Make sure this is your safety save on professional if you want to try this. Uh, but basically, oh, and before that, make sure you have near full health and full armor. So what you're going to do is take this guy out, any weapon, and then just run towards the end. Ignoring pretty much everything if possible. And keep an eye on the Navista door, one of the two, because you're going to need them. So make sure not to kill him. And again, as you can see, I just got grabbed. So that's part of the issue with this particular skip. That rocket launcher guy, try to take him out if possible. Because he'll blast you in the back. So stand right here with full armor, near full health, and just wait. Something's going to hit you. The Navista door just hit me there. That's what you want. Once they hit you, and as you can see, my armor is broken now. And I'm still getting shot. So this is why you need full health and armor. But just heal. And just dodge. And run. Just run laps. I'm still getting shot. This is how I, how, how I risk this particular skip is. But if you're able to do it, you'll basically be done with the segment. And again, I do not recommend it on pretty much any difficulty except That's assisted. Sweet. I'm going to now skip back to the original strategy. High risk, high reward. And if you don't do it right, you know, you just you just die. But when you start the fight here, start with your sniper. Take out the camouflage novice door right here. And then just slowly take everything out. Like if it moves, shoot it. It's not dead. Oh, yeah, this. Almost there. Ashley, I'm coming. Oh my god. I love how they have like god accuracy. But the man with the sniper doesn't. Give me a break already. The biggest threat here is going to be the um rocket launcher guy. Okay. And again, take this slow. Fight your way through. If it moves, you shoot it. Remember, we, we have an hour and four minutes to finish this last stretch of a level and the last level. That's so much time. That's an insane amount of time. There is a Luis door in here. Shoot that barrel. There is a big guy here. At this stage, you don't need to be frugal with your supplies anymore. Oh no. Whew. I'm telling you, like, even though I have full heals, one mistake and it's over. Oh my goodness. 
It was actually because of that sniper rifle guy that I died that first time I was trying to do the skip. Okay, so... Where are you? There you are. Okay. There's a guy right above me. I don't know if I've taken him out yet. So in terms of ammo, I'm very low. Like, this is... Not good. There is some chests and ammo scattered around, so just look around, find it as you fight your way through. Now, in this section here... Oh, nice. Beautiful. Exactly what I needed. In this section here, there's going to be um, preset enemies and spawning enemies. Let me go to photo mode. So you can already see kind of the electricity of an enemy there. See, he's right there. He's got like a few homies in there. They are preset enemies. So they're going to be in there until you get close enough to this door where they break out through there. And then there's some more guys in there as well that are preset. Once you take those guys out, then go to the top of the stairs to continue the story to turn off the turret. The next set of enemies spawn in. And those guys cannot be taken out until they spawn in. So they're not even here until you know they spawn in. So if you have any grenades, toss one in the window. That's one. That's two. Okay. If you start getting swarmed, you can run back and use the traps in here to lower their numbers. Okay, I'm going to spawn them. There we go. Hopefully you have some explosibles. That was all of them, by the way. I haven't done anything there. They have dynamite. They set off their own traps. You know, just general clowning around. You see this? Three shields. Try not to get hit by that guy. That was pretty cool. Okay. Remember, goal here is to survive, not to um, set world records or anything. I think there's a trap here. I think. He has a mask on. That's bulletproof. I don't know how a regular metal mask is uh, bulletproof, but it is. Okay. So these guys are easy enough now that I can just um, ignore them a little bit. The one I'm worried about is this guy here. Not good.
I'm completely out of usable ammo. So I'm just gonna go along. Oh, actually, there's a trap here. Traps are really good because once they set them off, we'll trigger them. You kick them, and it'll insta kill any enemy. It just tears their leg off, for the exception of the super enemies. Kind of getting bored of doing this. I'm gonna keep going. Because I took care of most of the enemies already, there's gonna be um, preset items here that I can just pick up. I'm just gonna wait for them to get close enough. Almost, almost over. Just, just a smidge more. I don't have any gunpowder, so we'll accept enough to make one flash. And generally, you want to have three flashes for this next section, if possible. Wow. Take it out. I think I have enough for another. No, I don't. I need one more gunpowder. You can kind of hear the bullhead in there. Him just messing around, just sticking around in there. Okay, gonna make another flash. Okay. As long as you don't go too high up, the bullhead doesn't spawn. You could leave that trap there if you really wanted to. I don't recommend it though, just in case you forget about it, because you're gonna you're gonna run out of here fast. Okay, so this is incredibly risky, and I don't recommend it. I'm only doing it because I'm really low on ammo. So he's gonna kick this door open, run it, dodge this guy, so you can hit the button. There you go. Then you just run. They're gonna be running to you, so try to run this way. Jump through here. Remember, the grabbers can still grab you, so if they grab you, you're gonna take a ton of damage. But that's it. This is over. There's nothing the game can throw at me now that can stop me, short of like power dying. There is a time-saving glitch you can do that you have to prepare earlier um, in regards to making this segment faster. I don't recommend it, honestly. Um, the time save is mostly for speedrunners than, you know, your average person. But I have a little under an hour, but I'm very, very good on time. Like, S Plus Pro is done now. Almost done, technically. Because you can... I guess theoretically, you could fail the uh, water ski section. On professional, one crash essentially destroys the speeder. Like one strong crash. A scraping scratch does like 70, no, not 70, uh, 50 to 25% of the, the vehicle health. Yeah, but um, I consider this the last level, so. These are like really my final thoughts. You can definitely do this S plus pro professional with base equipment. So you don't have to feel that like, 
It's impossible. Um, do I recommend it? No. I really don't. The, um... The difference in difficulty of using the bonus items from S plus and other difficulties on S plus Pro Runs is ridiculous. Like, giving Ashley the Night Armor, that is a night and, night and day difference. Like, you don't have to worry about her ever. And that makes it so much easier. And then you can use her as a shield. You can attack her with explosives and she'll be fine. So it's a game changer. That's definitely an item worth using on S plus Pro Runs. Um, and even if you don't do the night armor with Ashley, just having any of the other bonus items is also night and day difference. Whoops. Okay, so that's chapter 15. If you found this video helpful, then consider giving it a like as it really helps out my channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.